Hi, I'm Wayne uh, from the Sydney Fish Market. I'm here to teach you guys all a little bit about oysters this year. Now, Sydney Rock Oysters and Pacific Oysters. They're the most predominant varieties you'll find at Sydney Fish Market. Let's just have a quick little explanation as to the differences between the two. If you take a Sydney Rock Oyster, predominantly found in New South Wales, and then you've got your Pacific Oyster, which is found all around Australia. The Sydney Rock tends to have a, a a bend in it, you can see the way that oyster just swishes off to one side, whereas the Pacific oyster tends to be quite symmetrical. That's the easiest way, just visually, that you can tell. How do they taste? What are the differences? Well, a Pacific oyster has a salty taste of the sea, whereas your Sydney rock oyster has a much creamier, richer flavour. Now, with Pacific oysters, I recommend them to people who are new to eating oysters, because they're quite a fresh, clean, easy to, easy to digest taste. When you're buying your oysters, what to look for. You can see this little Pacific oyster here. He's got what you call a, a meat to shell ratio, which is really good. There's a lot of meat in there for how much shell. You don't want to be seeing a, a huge amount of shell and not much oyster meat in there. So that's a really good example. You can see this area here, that's the stomach. You want that to be nice and full and shiny and glistening with moisture. That's always a really good sign of a great oyster. You can see the Sydney Rock's in the same condition. It's got a beautiful, nice, nice, big bloated stomach there, and he's nice and healthy. Now, when you're buying your oysters, if you're buying them opened, you can store them in the fridge for three to four days without any trouble at all. Um, you can put a bag of ice on top if your fridge temperature, if your fridge is getting opened all the time, but generally they should be okay just in the fridge for about three to four days. If you're buying your oysters live, uh, usually, the, the oysters will come in a bag. They should be fine just in the fridge also. Don't leave them out. Um, they tend to not like being in places where it's really, really cold. If it's too cold, the oyster will start to open. So just leave them in the fridge, maybe in the, uh, in the crisper with the fruit and veg. Opening oysters. If you're going to open the oysters yourself, I recommend that you come in through the hinge at the back of the oyster. Coming in through the hinge gives you a much cleaner opening. If you come in through the front, you have to strike at the top of the oyster shell and break that oyster open in order to get inside. I always prefer to come in through the hinge. Just always protect your hands so the knife doesn't go through and, and hurt you. Put the oyster knife into the hinge. Just wriggle it until you feel it break. And then move the knife forward and just cut the top of that little muscle off. Reach in with the knife and cut the bottom of that little muscle. Flip your oyster over for presentation. And there you have a really nicely opened oyster that anyone can do.